Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to the latest edition of Match Play on PGATour.com. Let's get right to it and meet this week's contestants. We say hello to John McGinnis, the lead analyst for the PGA Tour Network and the host of McGinnis on Tap on Sirius XM Radio, and Len Shapiro from the Global Golf Post and co-author of the newly released book, Golf List Mania. Len has the honor for topic number one. The last four major championships have been won by foreign-born players, Len. Which American in this week's U.S. Open field has the best chance to snap that streak? I'm going to stick with Steve Stricker, who is now the top-ranked American player in the world rankings. Just came, coming off a victory at the Memorial and uh, has the kind of game that Congressional really demands. Uh, Curtis Strange said last week that there he may be the best player inside 100 yards in the game right now, and I think that's what, what it's going to take at Congressional. He hits it accurately, he's going to be in the fairway, and he's, nobody puts the ball better uh, inside six, seven feet than Steve Stricker. So that's my pick, and I'm sticking with it. McGinnis, uh, five career runner-ups for Phil Mickelson. Is this finally the year? Do you have someone else in mind? I have someone else in mind. He finished runner-up two that nobody is talking about. He's a guy that went through a rough patch after winning the 2009 U.S. Open and then came through and won at Quail Hollow earlier this year. Lucas Glover, and here's why. You look at the history of Americans in this championship, and you look at it. Uh, Len mentioned Curtis Strange. Well, he won it twice. Lee Jansen, twice. Payne Stewart, twice. I think Lucas Glover uh, playing on a golf course very similar to Beth Page. I like Lucas Glover, and nobody's talking about it. Well, uh, there's maybe a reason for that. Glover's season has been so up and down. Uh, I have to go with Stricker and Len Shapiro on topic number one. At 44, this has to be the year for Stricker, who's at the top of his game right now. So Len Shapiro takes uh, topic number one. John McGinnis will lead us off for topic number two. Very simply, John, what's the best shot in U.S. Open history? I have to go to 1999 and the 20-footer that Payne Stewart uh, hit to win the golf tournament. Maybe the longest putt in U.S. Open history to win the golf tournament. You can go back to Hale Irwin. He made a putt to get into a playoff with Payne Stewart in 99 to win. So many great moments in U.S. Open history, Len, dating back to a Francis we met at Brookline in 1913. Which shot resonates the most with you? Yeah, I, did, I didn't see any of those shots by Lumet, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go with, with Jack Nicklaus to the 1972 U.S. Open. Uh, and, and you know the old saying, not even God could hit a one-iron. Well, that, I mean, that didn't apply to Nicklaus. He got to the par 3, uh, 17th at Pebble Beach with a one-shot lead, takes out a one-iron into a stiff win, hits the pin, left him a tap in, and, and goes on to win the tournament. So I'll, I'll take Jack Nicklaus with the one-iron. I think 1982, Tom Watson had all the elements of the greatest shot in U.S. Open history. The venue, Pebble Beach, the difficulty of the shot, which was extraordinary, the moment, which was late on Sunday, and the opponent, he beat Jack Nicklaus. Uh, I have to go with Watson in 82, so let's have topic number two and move along to our final topic. Uh, it goes to Len Shapiro. Luke Donald, number one ranked player in the world. Len, uh, make the case why the number one player in the world should be number one without a major championship. I can't make that case because I don't like the way the rankings are. I, I think majors ought to count a lot more than they count now. And uh, as much as I love Luke Donald as a player, he may be playing be better than anybody in the world right now. It seems to me that you've got to have at least one major championship on your resume in order to, to be the number one ranked player in the world. And McGinnis, how about you? Should the number one player be eligible without a major championship? You know, I, I think that we're in dangerous territory here. Um, I, and I have to agree with Lance. Um, I basically, I'm trying to two-putt from 12 feet for the tie here. <laughs> I agree that the number one player in the world needs a major championship. How many guys do you have in the Hall of Fame from their playing careers that didn't majors? Very, very few. And yet, here we are every week with a handful of players in the top ten in the world who are yet to win major championships. Let's agree that you can only rise to number two in the world without a major championship. How's that? So uh, both men sort of in agreement on that last topic. We will have that one and uh, we'll award Len Shapiro the victory in this week's edition of Match Play over John McGinnis. Thank you, gentlemen. Well played and happy Father's Day to both of you guys this Sunday.